Well, hello, it's about talking. The bar, yes. I love this room. This room is really based on a hotel. I wanted to do separate seating areas. So there were a lot of little conversation points as opposed to the big sofa and the two chairs and everyone's all you know stacked together. No, this is great. People can have private conversations. It feels more like a party to me. So there are four separate seating areas in this room plus the bar, which I will get to in a second. But one of the reasons why I chose red as the pop of color was because of the bar. Instead of doing cocktail tables, I decided to do these upholstered drum tables because I thought they felt very chic and cool, but you can eat at them. Now remember I told you I like to put natural elements into my space. And there's a, definitely a big tree theme happening in this house. So that's how we got to the bar. This slab of wood is from one tree. Is this incredible? Can you imagine how big this tree was? We were looking for an organic element to put on the bar and my subs were sending me pictures of all kinds of slabs of wood and they were kind of boring and I was trying to figure it out. And then one of my guys found this furniture maker who was retired, who had an entire barn full of wood slabs. And they brought this to me and I went, oh my gosh, this is incredible. I love this. And at first some of the guys wanted to smooth out all these rough edges, but I loved it. I just thought it gave it so much character and just, it, 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 it's just incredible. I mean, it's just like a work of art from nature. You just have to be careful not to put your drink down, right? There. Another amazing feature about this bar is the light up onyx. I had actually originally chosen a different onyx, but when the room started to come together, it didn't work anymore. So I had to reselect something and I was so lucky to find this. And I remember um, I was driving home from LA and I got a call from the fabricator and they said, well, um, we gotta figure out how to cut this, which piece you want in the front, which piece you want in the back. And I was like, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. So I went to the warehouse and worked with them on it and how to put it together so it looked cool and cohesive and from every side, it was fun. My favorite part of the house, one thing specific has gotta be the bar. The bar is disgusting. It's like this bitchin' onyx stone, that lights up with this slab of, you know, this slab of tree that's 200 years old. And the reality is it's just a piece of art. It is awesome. And it's a bar. The best bar ever. Love this bar. Could live on this bar. I do sometimes. So we have lots of room for storage for glasses and alcohol. Of course, there's crazy TV, which is either four individual screens or you can put them together and make one big picture. Um, lots of equipment back here. There's, of course, another type of ice. There's dishwashing drawers, a refrigerator, all kinds of fun stuff. But this is what I really want to talk about, the beer tap. So I got an emergency call from Terry one day. Well, we need a beer tap. I'm like, huh, interesting, okay. And then, so I called, the builder and I'm like, okay, we need a beer tap. We need to find a place to put the beer tap. He was like, okay, great. And then I got a call a week later saying, we need a double beer tap. I'm like, why? He's like, because you need a double beer tap. And I was like, okay, he goes, picture it. I'm gonna have friends over. We're gonna watch the game. There's gonna be two different kinds of beer. And I'm thinking, honey, you don't drink beer. You don't have friends. You don't watch games. Who's the beer tap for? We used it once. I got two quarter kegs under there and they were here for so long without being finished, they went bad. 
but it looks good. It's mildly phallic, but it looks good. This is our outdoor space. These doors completely pocket open. So it becomes this huge indoor, outdoor, fun, entertaining, extravaganza place. This tree behind me, we had to have craned over the house into the space. It was crazy, but it's so worth it. It's fun seeing uh, being down at a lower level. It's fun being down at a lower level and looking up and watching a huge ass tree coming down inside the house. And as it's coming down, <laughs> all right, brutally honest, as it's coming down, all my guys could see is this big wiener uh, on the stump. And everybody just started rolling in. <laughs> it, it's so obvious. And everybody just was taking pictures. There's a picture of Heather standing, you know, posing after it's in and we've dug it and we, oh, is it level? Is it whatever? Uh, Heather's posing right by it and right next to her. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't told too many people that story, but that's a true story. <laughs> Honestly, I can't even go down there to this day without, <laughs> without seeing it. <laughs> you know what the holidays, when everyone puts their lights on their trees and everything, it feels so celebratory and it's so pretty. I thought, why can't we have that all year round? So I put twinkle lights on the tree all year round and I put a mirror on the wall so you get depth. So I didn't want this to feel like a prison yard or anything, because it could feel like that being down here and having all this, you know, Venetian plaster and stone. So I did a big custom mirror on the wall. It also reflects the tree at night. It's so pretty. Let me show you. Not only does this space give you this whole indoor, outdoor, entertaining, extravaganza kind of vibe, but what's really neat about it is we open the doors to the movie theater all the way and we can turn on the Super Bowl so you can actually be outside and watch the game. It's probably the best home for entertaining that I've ever put together. My one favorite thing about the house is clearly the basement. So we were watching Super Bowl Sunday in the movie theater, greatest experience ever. The Atlanta Falcons had a, I think, 21 or 28 point lead. And I, you know, I never bet, but unfortunately I bet that day and a lot of money. He was pretty, con pretty concerned that he was gonna end up losing that bet. And all of a sudden out of the blue, a miracle occurred. To sit there and watch that comeback with Tom Brady. And, you know, this guy intercepted the ball, the Patriots won, and I went from loser to total hero in about seven seconds. So I'll never forget that evening. That was pretty exciting to watch the Patriots come back and win that game. There's nothing Terry likes more than being in his movie theater. He absolutely loves it. The equipment was really important to him. The screen type was really important to him. And I think he got exactly what he wanted. I don't want you to miss any room in the house, so make sure you become a subscriber right now.